Hello, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Louise and this is Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. So uh, this afternoon I'm doing an update on the three citrus, the Bangladeshi citrus. Um, I did a video in, oh, was it last month? Yeah, it's about a month now. Save my citrus and um, the Zambora, Pomelo, uh, Vietnamese Malta type of Mandarin and Citrus Macrotera, Shatkura were the three that I showed and uh, they were all in a poor state a lot of die back complete leaf loss so um, yeah I brought them into the bathroom they were downstairs in the living area and um, what well I, I brought them here because I thought the condensation the humidity in the bathroom would help uh, in some way perhaps you know the dryness in the living room was causing the leaf drop so I had to do something and uh, this is the pomelo unfortunately I've had to cut off quite a sizable amount of the stem because it was completely dry and it, the, the dye back was traveling down the stem and I didn't want it to die off completely so I've had to remove up to this point now this point here was green and it has since turned this brown colour, which I was a little bit worried about. I sprayed it with fungicide in case there was any kind of sort of fungus going on that was causing the um, the dye back. Um, and so yeah, it's been in the bathroom for about a month and there are signs of life. Little tiny little areas of green growth on the stem and I've got that there to keep fungus gnats at bay. This area here had the most prominent um, leaf bud and it it was looking really good and I very foolishly took it into another room where there was bright sunlight and I don't know whether that caused this browning of the leaf tip. I don't know if you can focus I can focus properly on that. You see the tip of that leaf there um, looking brown. What had happened, I, it could be that the sun was too strong on it because this uh, window faces west and the area I took it to was southeast facing and the sunlight there is a lot stronger. I took it there thinking, oh, give it a boost of sunshine. And then when I brought it back in the evening to this side, I noticed um, not just the leaf damage, but it was covered in aphids. So the area I'd taken it to, there were other plants and there must have been aphids on them. And this was absolutely covered with aphids. So in, you know, hastily tried to remove them using a paintbrush and probably did it a little bit too rough and damaged the leaf. So it's either caused by me removing the aphids the aphids actually probably having a good old munch on there or the bright sunlight so after removing the aphids it, they don't seem to have returned so um, and it doesn't seem to have affected other areas on the stem um, so yeah so it's staying in this position and um, hopefully um, that little setback there won't um, affect the rest of the uh, growth you know the little signs of growth of the little buds along here hopefully they'll start to push out and when they do produce a leaf I'll be able to tell whether it's a pomelo or not the pomelo this one um, had very broad leaves they were really wide I'm talking you know sort of almost round and the petiole was quite broad as well so quite a distinctive leaf on the pomelo um, the zambora so hopefully it's because i don't know this if this is the rootstock and whether this will be a different citrus to the one that i've had to cut away and um, we'll just have to wait and see but um i'll have to be patient because <laughs> uh, it is pretty slow going so um, the next one is the um, 
Malta, Vietnamese Malta, as it was called from the, the nursery I bought it from was in a uh, called Tunni Nursery in Muli Bazar, which is a part of uh, Silet uh, in Bangladesh. And this one, out of all of the citrus um, that I brought from Bangladesh, this one did very well. Um, it hardly needed any attention. It kept all its leaves. So I brought it in uh, March last year. And up until then, it kept its leaves and it actually started to put out new ones. Uh, no bugs, no aphids, nothing like that. And then it was around about November time, suddenly started to die back. And I don't know whether that was due to the lack of light uh, or the dryness in the living room. It just, you know, suddenly started to drop its leaves. And this is why... Um, this area here is where it was grafted. Sorry if it's not in focus very well. So this brown area is where it was grafted onto this area. And um, so I don't know, that all of that completely died back. I had to cut it off. So I don't know this lower part here, if that is in fact um, the same citrus, if it's a mandarin type, no idea. Um, but as you can see, this one is pushing out young leaves. So that's promising. And when these get a little bit bigger, maturer, you know, a mature, well, full size leaf, and there are quite a few areas where it's pushing out new growth. There's there, here as well, on the other side. So yeah, it's promising. So when the, these leaves get a bit bigger, I'll be able to tell if it's the same citrus or not. This one had quite dark, long, slim leaves, unlike the pomelo. Not broad at all, very narrow petiole and very long, slim, uh, narrow uh, type of leaf. So it'll be interesting to see what this, um, what these new leaves look like. So hopefully... I uh, won't have to wait too long for that to happen. And lastly is the very sad looking um, Shatkara, Citrus Macrotera. And you can see it's completely died off. There's um, no sign of growth. And I'll just show, I've kept this part here. So this is the grafted part. This is where the leaves were. And that's this this is the area that it was grafted onto and had another one identical to this uh, downstairs and that also looks like this uh, completely dry you tap the wood it's got that hollow sound to it unlike if this one here this is much you can I can tell you know just feel of that um, it's solid whereas this you know, you can't even scratch it. It's just so dry, you know. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, Citrus Makatera, Shadkara has not made it. And I probably won't get another one of these again, to be on, honest with you. Very, very slow uh, growing. I've had one in the past. I've actually grown from seed. And they were so slow and uh, very hard work. So I'm not going to be a martyr to, you know, um, a citrus if it's if it takes that much trouble to look after um i don't think i'll bother so yeah so r.i.p uh, citrus macrotera but let's hope the malta or mandarin and the pomelo will continue to um put out new leaves and i'll do another progress report maybe in a month's time hopefully there'll be a lot more to show uh, them. So thanks very much for watching everyone. Take care. Bye bye.